Hello friends, welcome back to Global Travel Venture. Ever wondered what secrets the vast skies and the air travel industry hold? The mere thought of soaring above the clouds, reaching destinations thousands of miles away in a matter of hours, is a marvel that leaves us awestruck. Yet there's so much more to this world that meets the eye, a world filled with mysteries and secrets waiting to be unveiled. Air travel, a realm where science meets human ingenuity, is a fascinating tapestry woven with threads of intrigue and wonder. From the moment you step foot in an airport to the second you land at your destination, there's a symphony of perfectly orchestrated operations taking place behind the scenes. Imagine the hustle and bustle of a busy airport, the rush of planes taking off and landing, the constant chatter over the radio, the whirl of baggage belts, and the flashing lights guiding the way. It's a world that's alive and humming with activity, a world that never sleeps. But beneath this vibrant dance of motion and noise, there are secrets. Secrets that have the power to transform your understanding of what it means to fly. Do you ever ponder what goes on in the control tower, that tall beacon of command overlooking the runways? Or question the life of a pilot beyond the cockpit? Have you ever been curious about the fate of your luggage once it disappears behind the rubber flaps of the check-in counter? And what about the enigma of the missing row 13 on your flight? These are just the tip of the iceberg, the surface-level curiosities that hint at a deeper, more complex world. A world where every decision is calculated, every movement is precise, and every moment is crucial. A world that's shrouded in mystery yet is an integral part of our everyday lives. So are you ready to embark on this journey of discovery? To delve into the heart of the air travel industry and uncover the hidden secrets that lie within? Strap in and prepare for takeoff. Join us as we take a journey behind the scenes of air travel, guided by those who know it best, airport staff. Let's start at the heart of it all, the control tower. This lofty perch is the brain of the airport, with air traffic controllers acting as the nerve center, coordinating the intricate dance of aircrafts in the air and on the ground. Air traffic controllers have a tremendous responsibility. They're the invisible guardians of the skies, ensuring that every plane, from the massive jumbo jets to the smallest private aircraft, takes off, cruises, and lands safely. Their job is a complex ballet of communication, coordination, and calculation. But it's not just about talking to pilots and looking at radar screens. There's a whole lot more to it. Did you know that these professionals have to maintain an intense level of concentration for their entire shift? That's right. They have to stay hyper-focused, watching multiple screens, tracking numerous flights, and making split-second decisions that can mean the difference between a routine flight and a headline-making incident. And, if you think that sounds stressful, you're absolutely right. The pressure in the control tower is palpitous, but these air traffic controllers have their own unique ways of managing stress. Some might immerse themselves in a quick-paced game of chess during their breaks, while others might find solace in the calming notes of a Mozart symphony. But one thing they all share in common is the dedication to their job and the safety of all those in the air. Even when the weather turns foul and visibility drops to almost zero, it's the air traffic controllers who guide the pilots through the murk, ensuring they reach their destination safely. They are the unseen heroes, the steady voices in the storm, guiding the way home. And let's not forget the camaraderie in the control tower. Despite the stress and the high stakes, there's a sense of unity and mutual support that's truly inspiring, a shared understanding that they're all in this together, working towards the common goal of safe and efficient air travel. From their perch in the control tower, air traffic controllers have a unique perspective on the world of air travel. And for them, every day is a new opportunity to conquer the skies, one flight at a time. Next, we venture onto the runway. A place that is often overlooked but plays a crucial role in air travel. The runway, that long strip of pavement, is the stage for the intricate ballet of takeoffs and landings that occur every day around the world. Every takeoff and landing is a result of meticulous planning and execution. Air traffic controllers, pilots, and ground crew all work in harmony to ensure that each plane takes off and lands safely. They coordinate their efforts based on factors such as weather conditions, plane size and traffic volume to ensure the smooth execution of each operation. Now you might be surprised to learn that runways are not just long strips of asphalt. They're carefully engineered structures designed to withstand the massive weight and speed of aircraft. The most common material used is a specific type of asphalt concrete that can handle the stress of repeated takeoffs and landings. 
And speaking of length, did you know that the world's longest runway is over three miles long? That's longer than the entire length of the famous Hollywood Boulevard. It's located at Kamdo Bamda Airport in Tibet, and it needs to be that long because of the high altitude which affects the lift of airplanes. Runways also have a unique naming system. They are named based on their magnetic heading. So, a runway pointing due north would be called Runway 03, as it corresponds to a compass heading of 30 degrees. But it's not just about the physical structure of the runway. Runways are also equipped with a variety of lights and markings to guide pilots during takeoff and landing. These include runway edge lights, threshold lights, touchdown zone lights, and various types of markers. So, the next time you're on a plane, spare a thought for the humble runway. It's more than just a strip of pavement. It's a carefully engineered structure, part of a meticulously choreographed dance of aviation. Every time you take off or land, you're participating in a carefully choreographed dance on the runway. Now let's step into the cockpit and meet the pilots. Imagine a world where the office view changes every single day, from the sparkling cityscapes to the tranquil oceanic horizons, this is the world of pilots. But behind the glamorous facade, there's a lot more to being a pilot than meets the eye. Pilots undergo extensive training before they can take to the skies. This isn't a journey of weeks or months, but often several years. The training is grueling and challenging, with pilots having to learn not only how to operate an aircraft, but also understand complex meteorological phenomena, navigation, and aviation laws. What's more, the responsibility that weighs on a pilot's shoulders is immense. They are not just flying a plane, they're safeguarding the lives of hundreds of people. It's a responsibility they bear with grace and dedication, always prioritizing safety over anything else. But here's a little secret you may not know. Did you ever wonder how many hours a pilot is allowed to fly each day? Well, according to international regulations, pilots can fly no more than 9 hours a day. This limit is even less for night flights pegged at 8 hours. These regulations are in place to ensure that pilots are always well-rested and alert, ready to respond to any situation that may arise. And here's another lesser-known fact. Many pilots carry a second set of uniforms. Why you ask? Because they need to be prepared for sudden weather changes at their destinations. Imagine leaving a tropical climate only to land in a city with sub-zero temperatures. Pilots also have to constantly update their knowledge and skills. They undergo simulator training every six months to ensure they're always ready for the unexpected. So the next time you're on a flight, remember this. The men and women at the controls are not just pilots. They are professionals who have dedicated their lives to mastering their craft, continuously learning, and adapting to the ever-changing conditions. Pilots are more than just the people who fly the plane. They're the guardians of the skies. Now let's descend into the bowels of the airport, the baggage claim. Have you ever stopped to wonder about the journey your suitcase takes after you check it in? It's a world of conveyor belts and barcode scanners, a labyrinth that seems to stretch on forever. It's an intricate dance of technology and human precision, a ballet performed by the unsung heroes of the baggage claim. These individuals work tirelessly behind the scenes, ensuring that your belongings reach their destination safely. They navigate the complex matrix of conveyor belts, tunnels, and lifts that make up the baggage handling system. Each bag is scanned and tracked, moving from one point to another with clockwork precision. It's a task that requires a keen eye for detail and a firm grasp on logistics. Despite the complexity of the system, the rate of lost luggage is surprisingly low. In fact, according to the Air Travel Consumer Report, only about three out of every thousand passengers in the United States experience mishandled baggage. That's a testament to the dedication and efficiency of these behind-the-scenes heroes. But what happens when a bag does go missing? It embarks on an adventure of its own, journeying to a place known as the Unclaimed Baggage Center. Here, unclaimed items find a new lease on life, either being sold, donated, or even displayed in the center's museum. Whether your bag is destined for the overhead bin of a jumbo jet, the belly of a small regional aircraft, or even the unclaimed baggage center, it's the baggage handlers who ensure it gets there. They are the unseen custodians of your belongings, the magicians who make the magic of travel possible. So the next time you stand by the carousel waiting for your suitcase to appear, spare a thought for the people who made it possible. Remember, your suitcase's journey is just as complex and fascinating as your own. Have you ever noticed that many airplanes don't have a row 13? An oddity indeed, but this is no accident. It's a nod to a time-old superstition surrounding the number 13, often associated with bad luck in various cultures. 
This fear of the number 13 even has a scientific name, Triskaidekaphobia. It's interesting to note that the aviation industry, a realm of precision and science, has chosen to accommodate this superstition. Why, you ask? Well, the answer lies in the human psyche. Some passengers, whether consciously or subconsciously, may feel discomfort or anxiety knowing they're seated in row 13. To ensure a pleasant flight for everyone, many airlines simply decided to omit this row altogether. Whether it's a marketing strategy or an act of consideration, it's a fascinating intersection of modern technology and age-old beliefs. So, the next time you're on a plane, see if you can spot the missing row 13. Now let's dive into the world of baggage handling. You might think your suitcase is handled with care, but the truth is, it goes through a wild ride. Baggage handlers sometimes play a game called toss and catch with your bags, tossing them from one end of the conveyor belt to the other. So, don't be surprised if you find a bit of a dent or scratch when you finally reunite with your luggage. And now, let's talk about the infamous TSA security checks. You've probably wondered why some people get randomly selected for additional screening. Well, here's the truth. It's not really random at all. TSA agents have a whole set of criteria they use to choose passengers, from behavioral profiling to detecting suspicious body language. So, if you get pulled aside, it might be more than just a stroke of bad luck. We've explored the secrets of air travel, from the control tower to the baggage claim. We've taken a journey through the hidden world that lies beneath the glamour of jet setting and the roar of aircraft engines. Unveiling the mysteries of the skies wasn't a solitary endeavor. It was a voyage we embarked on together, guided by the unsung heroes of air travel. In our exploration we've discovered the intricacies of the control tower, the nerve center of an airport, where a symphony of voices orchestrates the safe arrival and departure of countless flights each day. We've stepped onto the runway, the asphalt stage where the dance of giants unfolds, where aircraft like graceful birds, take off and land under the watchful eyes of ground crew. We've peeked into the life of a pilot, those sky-bound adventurers who navigate through the heavens, their hands steady on the controls, their minds constantly calculating, adjusting, ensuring the safety of their passengers. We've acknowledged the silent warriors of the baggage claim, who handle thousands of pieces of luggage with care, ensuring they reach their rightful owners. They work behind the scenes, their efforts often unnoticed, yet they are crucial to the seamless journey we often take for granted. And then there's the intriguing mystery of the missing row 13, a tale of superstition and respect for the beliefs of travelers from around the world. A light-hearted, yet insightful look into the cultural considerations that factor into the design of aircraft. All these elements are woven together by the tireless airport staff. Their dedication, their expertise, and their passion for aviation make our journeys possible. They are the ones who unravel the secrets of the skies, making them accessible to us, transforming the daunting vastness of the heavens into a familiar path. Next time you take to the skies, remember the hidden world that makes your journey possible. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more travel tips and guides. Until next time, safe travels.